Gotta go late game against this. Throw alacrity on this guy. We've got cataclysm. Never mind. And they go for tiny instead. <laughs> they go for tiny. Also burst on the IO. Of course, still good with that. So I'm kind of curious how they're planning on doing with the uh, with the doom and the enigma. It looks yeah, like uh, they tiny. actually are still not choosing who's playing what. These yeah mid morphling. Yeah, against uh, Pango. I mean, Shiva, she called for it. And yeah, totally. Exactly what I was thinking. Well, you, you mentioned it, so we yeah, gotta give you credit. Option. It's always an option. It is an option. This is nice. I wasn't really expecting it. Oh, I, was, I mean, I was expecting it, of course. Yeah. Naturally, yes. Yeah, naturally. Very strong matchup. Uh, they are still not choosing who's playing. There we go. Ice will play the Doom, and it will be uh, Yapsor on the Enigma. If they put Morphling on mid, which uh, seems to be a thing against the Pango, Morphling is going to get a lot of farm. I, I think it's pretty similar to Morphling plus against Ember Spirit matchup, where you tend to farm, but you got to be careful because Pango he can does have more. You. Yeah, he can burst you. Yeah. Uh, now there's no like chain stun on uh, the roll too. Mm -hmm. I, I do. I do feel like Morph. Uh, you know, you can always get the morph off, which yeah. is it's like that's like you know people talk about BKB being able to uh, get that off, but it's like same thing applies to morph, right? Yeah. So previous uh, game we said that uh, Secret's lineup was a little bit more harder to execute compared to OG's. What are we thinking about this uh, draft comparison? I'd say OG's draft is very difficult to execute, having okay. like two supports who like you misuse your Vivern ult and you're gonna really suffer like one if you don't click morph mm -hmm. sometimes it just feels really bad you lose a fight uh, i'm gonna give a slight edge to team secret in this one i feel like og they were timber saw but uh, i feel like team secret has a much easier draft to play and uh, overall feels like I, I, I i've never been a big fan of these two supports that uh, like don't have stuns all right we're gonna find out it's game two pixel and fogged Thank you, Steven. Yes, ladies and well, welcome between OG and Team Secret. Fox, uh, what was your makeup uh, of, of the, the right, draft yeah, results right. this time round? We're getting something a bit different from Secret, right? For, sorry, from OG, oh, right? Bringing oh, BZM oh, on the Morphling oh, mid, uh, but not, not sort of a bad answer, right? Towards what Secret have been doing with the mid Pango, because uh, yeah. as the panel said, this is a matchup where Morph can have a pretty easy time yes. hitting the creeps, yep. and when you have a Morph that's having an easy time hitting the creeps and getting solo XP, that can become quite the the, uh, the difficulty of a hero to deal with. Yeah, again, it's like this Tricorp, right? That's going to be kind of pressuring all fronts. This is the way that OG plays. Just try to take advantage, try to push the limits of where you are setting up your lane. So it's really interesting that they decide to do that. And interesting they pick a Tiny. Tiny carry into Igma, into percentage-based damage. Two heroes, actually, that do have it, of course. Got to add in the Infernal Blade at some point, too, because it is going to be a core Doom. So perhaps we'll see that one more, but... Yeah, an interesting grab. It battle. is one of those heroes that can always deal with uh, Enigma Eidolons. It's like impossible to actually even have Eidolons in lane versus in, uh, versus Tiny. He's always able to just clear them out pretty much instantly. Yeah, and what do you sort of make of Secret's lineup this time around? I mean, you're saying to me there's a, a bit of greed bit going greed. on with some of these picks. Yeah, the Enigma and the Doom together for me, just sometimes it's it's a bit tough to make work. I know Taiga, he's one of the few for me that he's very aggressive on his Enigma. A lot of other players, they get they get to the point where they just get super passive and they can't do anything. And yeah, so he's looking at pretty dead. Uh, this should be a first blood here for OG or Argy. He'll be able to take first it. Blood. He ruins though, first secret. From and uh, just to point out, uh, I, I, we can bring up the all chat as well if you guys wanted to see a mark. He just was giving like a little poking chant, you know, to uh, to his buddy, the Crystal's one hero pool. Because <laughs> he's playing Razor back to back. Yeah, cool. Some good banter between the old buddies. <laughs> I mean, Crystal has said it before or with him like we've had interviews with him and he's been like well they banned my other two heroes so i had to play x now he so. does yeah no you know he knows how to yeah. have a bit of laugh himself yeah they're good let's see how these let's see how these lanes end up this top one like i said for yapsor does look like it'd be really hard for idol in particular versus dual breath plus the tiny but ice 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 he's a doom see what creep he's able to find at some point and how they're going to be able to reset positioning with this constant idol on deny I stop you. Yeah, so do, you, do you sort of share the same uh, sort of concerns that Pound had a little bit with, with OG's support duo? Jakiro overall for me is just one that, I don't know, it just never feels really that great. And the, the hero's spell kit is great, but for some reason, something just isn't right about the hero. Um, I think the tiny pick is something that they were like kind of rounding things in together so they can have more combos with the two, because the two supports without someone else to playmake did look a little weird. 
but I'm actually pretty okay with it. It's very them. It's very their style, having this multiple core, having this like save that's also BKB piercing. It's very farm heavy, but also very late game scaling. Oh, for sure. And yeah, you've only got to imagine that, you know, Tiger being the sort of the Enigma expert, he, he knew exactly what he wanted Dyer's to be playing against Yapsol. And Yapsol yeah. was the one to get his hands on the Enigma this time around. Absolutely. Nice little Eidolons there. Tips from the tips from the friends. Razor versus Timber matchup. I'm sure Amar is loving himself right now playing Timber versus it. Not the easiest, of course, for Amar. Having to use the Timber chain pretty much to last it exclusively. Does it sort of get easier down here for Timber as levels come in, or is it always kind of rough? Yeah, I mean, it gets it always gets easier for these. He's, it's not like he's at risk of relief and dying because no, no. he has a Timber chain, but he's not going to contest CS. Much. No. Like, Razor should have some, some pretty free farm. Take a look back at the mid. We're gonna see it. I, I feel like it gets just better and better for the Morphling, to be honest, as the lane progresses. So already BZM off to an excellent start. The only thing you have to be worried pretty much is like level two, three, four, like if you get burst somehow from the Pango, but I don't really see that happening too much anymore. Yeah, Chris, we're still able to take out Mars Curry down here. Top is an issue though. Uh, the, they can't actually reset the lane positioning good enough with the Eidolons, so the lane position is all the way at the tower, so I guess I actually can't lane. Oh, they're going for, a bit of, going for a bit of jungling. He is jungling there. Not getting experience, though, so it's just gold that he's gaining. I think he's only get the wrong, wrong creep as well. Mm -hmm. I said, I said, he did find the creep, as we always mention. I mean, everyone always seems to find it. The mana aura plus that mana burn, but yeah, tough lane positioning. If it's so far up, they can kill him. They can do a lot of different cheeky plays. Even saving the one point on Yoragi, I see, if he does get an opportunity for his boss. Yeah. It's definitely going to be a bit of a concern. We, we saw how well your Yoragi played last game, so you give yes. him a good start. Highly likely that this man's going to pop off once again. He has absolutely free farm. Here he has charts I'm coming out. I'm what you found laying around. I mean, does this thing get any harder for him as the levels come in for, for no. sort of Ice and Yaps, or it's... This is a free lane for the Tiny, for sure. Doom, I feel like he gets a little bit of a better time to perhaps survive up here, but... Interesting, wow. Ice 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 even takes a point in Infernal Blade early. Okay. I mean, he does have, like, infinite mana up here, but... Oh, I don't see that much. This game for Tiger. Tiger's come in towards the mid to get that extra bit of firepower to take down Nietzsche. Oh, and look at the timing. 350. Both runes gonna get snatched up. That was, I mean, yeah, perfect move from Tiger to come and join forces with BZM in the mid. BZM is gonna be very, very happy with that move. And it's smart, because even though Razor is absolutely free farm bottom, as we're mentioning, they cannot kill the Timber, and he's starting to build up and farm. He's starting to get pretty decent. 17 to 1, actually. So three lanes again, looking pretty good for OG. That's I'll head back down bottom. And well and truly knowing that BZM is almost certainly going to continue to, to have a pretty free time in the mid matchup. Like the skill build, too. Going the two in the adaptive rather than going for waveform. It's that constant harass and poke, forcing range drop charges. All right, and do, 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 do you usually see this? I mean, you're arguing this game opting for the Soul Ring, making sure that he constantly has the, the ability to get his combo off. I honestly really like these uh, strength carries going for Soul There was a time when we had Wraith Kings. I remember that China was obsessed with Soul Ring when it was cheaper. They were buying it on Wraith Kings, so I'm, I'm honestly fine with the item. And he wants to be more active, I feel like, this game with his support. No, for sure. Exactly, yeah, especially when yeah. you have, like, a mid morph lane. Exactly. Like, he, he wants he, to be... He's going to be roaming around the map looking for kills. Top lane, they will lose Misha. Yeah, I'm sure nice so, so able to take him down. And the Jiragi, he's, he's going to be a playmaker this game. Yeah, that's, that is what it feels like. Nice. Very important kill that they're able to get back in this lane so he can start actually playing the lane. And a cool will speed him up towards getting at Midas online as soon as he can. Look, look at mid again. Taiga is lingering. Uh, go from Taiga to double mantle. Very interesting. It's hard to get a kill now. Level 6 is online for yeah. Nisha. So unlikely that he goes down to these two. He has one bottle charge. Okay, looks like they were going to maybe attempt it, but... Oh, Nisha. <laughs> giving the tip over. And Ruin's gonna be coming up soon. Yoragi getting some pressure. That that point in Infernal Blade's adding up for my size size. Yeah, they wanna try and make sure they're able to fight on this top lane secret. Mm -hmm. Bottom lane. I'm up. Where's the Ruin as well, too? BZM is looking for a Ruin. It, it'll spawn bottom. Fortunate for him. Actually, I think he had it either way. He had it in both situations because he stunned the Pango away from the top rune. And it's a regen. Bit of a dream. As I mean, we see Amar do this so much on his team. I feel like every time he plays Timber, he's in this position now at this point. Lane might have been a bit 
tough, but he just starts cutting wave. Whoa, top. We're gonna try and go for your Yuragi. And TP's are coming in. Your Yuragi's gonna be fine. Man, you have some nice dice dice. They'll have to back off. Oh, cool. They should put two points in the liquid fire huh? instead of two in dual breath. Now lanes are broken though. Amar, he's hit six. He can actually pressure the Razor now. So Chris just has to be a bit cautious of how he plays down here. Since we see the IO, we see Puppy. He has moved away from the lane. No top off though. Still top. He's going to try and see if they can set up for some action on ice. And the spins a blast as well. Ice, ice, ice. Get pretty low. I'll take him down. He up. He's going to have to buff up from Puppy. He's bumping down the zip. A little towards Tiger. Gets a heal. He's going to be able to heal up a, a decent amount. See if that's going to be enough to get him out of there. The Eidolons continue to, to try and block him off. Tiger. Is he able to juke? He has the he fire. Alive? I think he's going to be able to walk this one out. He's there. He's in the trees. Puppy's trying to find him. But now Yapsor might be in trouble. And indeed, Tiger. He's, is he? He's, he's he finally dead. goes down. But it's Look how much it costs, it? for BDM to head over. Take out Yapsor. Nice, nice, nice. He's back in the lane, back in action. To look towards Juragi. Comes in with the Infernal Play. Juragi. He's got a chance to try and step to the side, but he will fall. And Doom? Oh, it's a good Doom as well. They catch him before the shift goes off. So he's very low on the HP here, BZM. He's dead. And he certainly is. He's going to tick down. Whether they find him or not, Puppy, he'll happily take the kill for himself. Well, a bit surprising that that catches BZM off guard. I know he just hit six on the Doom, but usually these guys, they're very quick about being able to get the, the Morph off. 2k yeah. gold lead now. I mean, that ends up it's it's huge for secret up on that top lane. Huge price I mean, he died, respawned, came back, and got some extra kills. Is how long the sequence ended up going. Nice, nice, nice. Get these he wants to keep going. Uh, Yurag is going to toss it back to the side, but Nisha is in the round of thunder. Oh God, they're just going to continue to go for action up on this top lane, and, and they're going to get away with it. They take out Misha. Your will down with the avalanche, holds them back momentarily, but they'll continue to chase him down into the trees, take him out. Dyer's secret six to four, three K lead. Smashing that top lane. Phenomenal moves again, mate. Nisha, both both games. Even the the first game, he was killer on the rotations with the Pango. Great moves. That's gonna turn them into a tower too. BZM, he did start doing the traffic. This is maybe what he wanted Dyer's to do last time too. Maybe didn't want to even will rotate top. Usually when you see like these morph. A lot of these heroes that rotate out of the lane to go gank and stuff like that when you're playing into like a carry, the carry Radiant's just sits in and hits the tower. So I think he's now he probably gonna start doing that a bit more. The tower almost dropped down. But big hits from with a bit of a greedy draft too with that Doom and Enigma. They strike back hard after the first five waves or so were really rough. Nice, he's brought it back. Oh, it really has top net worth and with them just coming out soon, like yep. in that position as you know, as he's expecting and hope to be the, the offlane doom this game. And he's just gonna be rolling in. Yeah, Little, every little item always makes a difference. Like face boots cause him to live so long that he's able to reset and get these all these chase sounds. So I like it. Uh, kind of normal progression for Doom, but I did see that he had just brown boots Midas initially and then went for the face. So he's got now the done. So phase Midas 940, pretty damn solid. Maybe looking for some some pressure around mid. Nietzsche backed up by Puppy. It's gonna be coming out in a second. I mean, pretty impossible for you to go for a kill onto the pango there. He's not able to get it in time. The demon steps into the river, picks up the arcane. I got Okay. Oh, he's actually out with the TP off the top of the cloak. He's away. Sneaky. Nicely done. <laughs> Secret to keep themselves. They have a catapult. Is under attack. Can actually, hit the mid tower decently now. BZM has to use his full wand oh, just so he's full, full HP to be able to get some pressure off nice. the tower. But nice. oop, he's, he's got the ready to go. He's got him. And he's got him again. Second zoom and second time down on BZM, guaranteeing them the kill. Yeah, I said nice. And you're arguing. The he's got black hole available. He's going to try and step up. The Malice is there. Puppy. Puppy goes down. The App Store still playing the edge of the fight. It has the black hole. Look how Amara just isn't committing coming here at all. Amara's just staying yeah, bottom farming, top. doesn't even care That's about cool. going to help out the mid lane. Because he's very strong around the timber, but decides to stay down there to deal with the razor. That's big moves. Good early pressure. Top and mid taken out. 
11 minutes in. 3k lead here. 2 3k lead. Full oh, mech now on you. I up too. So Puppy's gonna have a big instead. Could trip up OG a lot, honestly. The damage on OG is a bit lackluster early on until they start getting some items and until they start bringing the timber saw in. This mech could really trip them up. Dyer's top tower is under attack. They'll still have damage likely if the timber is there in most situations, but without the timber, I do feel like they're starting to be lacking a bit. Nisha, the fizzle is coming out, so he is going to be a lot stronger now versus these. The tiny, the timber, all, I mean, all three cores requiring mana pretty heavily. Better choices, of course, though, for Fling. What OG could do with the presence? I mean, Secret's going to respond to this. Nisha? Try and turn it for more of the Malefist. Holds him back. Need to not quite able to get the angle with the switch. OG will turn the bottom tower. Shatter burst of blow. Ice pump. Blast the BZM. Shatter the bottom tower. He jumps back in for me, Shatter. One for one. That was very close to Razor dying. Mech saved him at the last second. Like, so. Aggressive moves. Secret oh, did it all. They farming ice inside. Spawn in the mid lane with his Midas. So continuing that lead and protecting the tower. Moves again from Secret. We'll see it again at the start. Look how low Crystal is. I mean, <laughs> puppy. Excellent set. Was in a lot of trouble. Oh, yeah, we saw, you know, BZM was able to set things up, to, turning into the raise and using the static link against himself. Been doing that pretty much all game because that's you know, the main reason that they did bar not for the Kaya damage as we see here. Oh, he's gonna keep oh, right through. Oh. I mean, niche still posturing as if he wants to poke book at this. I mean, they don't want to let this again, so he always wants to be able to get involved. And he always says yeah. full mana because puppy behind him. Make it very hard for OG themselves to find any of these early tier one towers. They can't quite push the same one that Secret's been able to. They're defending with two, two maybe three heroes on Secret. Well, the other two just farm. Doom, as we mentioned, super greedy, chill with the Midas. Yapstar, always super greedy, chill as the Enigma. Let's have blinked on it. Hey. These are big moves for Secret, being able to hold that tower with three heroes and a card on the map. And instant that. That's yeah, it's looking like Yuragi. He's got blink shield up, so I think they're starting to feel like, okay, we really need this tiny to evolve early on to start making some plays with our timber, with our supports as well. Because they have these two parries, you know, they have this more than this tiny that just... Well, kind of do the same thing in a way. So just switch it up a little bit. See if Crook try and smoke up now with this blink dagger done on Yaps. That's got a smoke at the ready. Doom, it's available from Ice to join the, the move. He's very close to the BKV, so may want to wait until he has that one done. That'll be done very fast. My Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Of course, Mr. Ray and OG team fight who to curse. Situations too, if that BKV goes off at the right time. Precious bounty. Well, if you continue to try to get this tower, this time I think they might be picking it though. Like they won't actually battle. I mean, they can definitely defend. TP and a relocate. They can Radiant instantly bring in numbers. Nisha, he's running down. Radiant's no, bottom they, they, tower is under attack. They make it for a when it comes to them. these towers. They, they know they can hold with the limited numbers they bring. I mean, they have no way to jump Anisha. I mean, does these type of plays until Tiny has blinked. Touch blink, then they can always kill Anisha. It does show like that. But yeah, blinks. There's not really any options for them. Sure in. There's another day. Yep. Kept it up. Very long time. So what? Blink Dagger and Taiga? He's going to... Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. It's all about positioning. You are just the one to get that blink or something. I like it. 
Just said, if there's anyone who's going to be out into the head top, and the player tiger, he's going to know when when Yapsil is going to try and go with the jumps. Yeah. So, yeah, it's going to be tough for Yapsil. So, to part with Black Ops and let the tiger in them. I say so. The thunder. Oh. And it's going to be me, Shigar. Oh, Tumblr. Tumblr rolling is very satisfying. <laughs> Again, the bottom tower. There you go. Yoragi's looking to be more playmaking now. He's got the blink. Yep, and him just walk right past each other, but don't see each other up top. Okay, now he did. He showed himself. See you later. So blink reveal. And just like OG, they'll probably continue the They'll try to pick up pace a little better with the slink on Tiny. He gets ready to move back gotten ahead significantly in this early game. We did Radiant's see some of the things in the first game. We did. Secret. They could have gotten the lead. Radiant's bottom so tower. Planning that lead into a victory. Something that UG made very, very difficult in that game on for Secret. As they came back in with a turnaround. Yeah, OG's just very, very good up in the greed game. Playing the stuff, making sure that everybody gets some farm. Except, you know, Misha's allowed to have much farm. Very important. Only too much farm now. Annoying for a morphling always just even just a swashbuckle like that and we do see yep the basher of course done for nisha this is early on and we go. a couple different items being picked up oh, hey it was a bit of a high five bait there you know that that went from zero to 100 quite quickly you know hey, sir, you want a high five? we're gonna kill you now the two comes out that's your heart Explosive! As soon as they get like the blink and they go for this type of fight, they get successful. Um, did you see what happened on the right side there? So puppy, I mean, what's happening there? I think he's fine. Puppy relocated the doom on top of Amar, and Amar the doom ended, and he just turns on both of them. Like no, five percent HP. Yep. And the Amar was like, I'm coming back for the kills. And it's because he has Kai Sanj. Like yeah. he actually has the Sanj to be able to make duration less, so that he's able to reset it. Maybe an over-aggressive play by Puppy, but it did look good. Like, it looked like they were going to be able to clean up the timber. he was so low. Like, look at that on the right. You see the relocate? We don't see it on our screens, but right now they're going for Doom. He just resets them. I mean, Boom. look how low he is, Amar. He said, when he get that chain off in time, and it, 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 you'll see here, he comes back in to kill off Puppy. Game has been blown open now. Yeah, Morph in the tiny. Now been, top of the net worth. Yeah. The, the sort of the team fights we had coming in at the end of that That's game one. Mm -hmm. well, OG, they were taking these team types. Secret just looking at a bit all over the place. Nisha just has to be. I, that was. I mean, it wasn't the blink I mean, reveal. He knew all, the blink was there, it was but. All off the back of a high five. It, it was. So he went for high five. Thought they were all friends in this, and then OG nope. team wipe them. Gotta be careful. Oh, yeah. be careful. Those high fives. Yeah, Nisha. It, all about Nisha, really. It does feel like he is the most oh, yeah. crucial hero on the side of Secret. And OG, oh, they've got his number. They're just immediately just on the line to go for him. Crystal is quite quiet this series, to be honest. The Razor both games. It doesn't feel like he's been able to do much of anything. But, well, and for your argument, doing exactly what was. Needed to, to happen here with this safe lane type. Yep. This blink dagger, he's been, he's up and down the map. He's and look how fast active, he's moving. He's getting involved. So what they can do top by side side. They see him. I mean, Yuragi's in. He's got the setup and a mark. He's got a lot of burst. The BKB comes out. Already has to take so much damage. They need a few more rope tell until the blink's back over there. <laughs> Need the blink for the tiny. Amar just chases him down through the duration of the BKB. Kills him off as it comes to an end. 14 to 10. Kills after kills after kills. Just really started to completely take over and have good, have good vision down now too. Both times there, these catches that they had was because of the vision that they had placed. Amar just leading the charge, knowing that he's pretty much immortal at this point. Lotus Orb finished up too. 
And they don't have anything like a Vessel, do they, anyway? Yeah, they don't even have, they don't even have a Vessel or anyway for... I don't, know how, I don't know how they kill the Timber. I don't know how they could. They, they couldn't do it with a Doom Lava. They got the Spike. They're not doing it during a Doom. I don't know when they're doing it. <laughs> it, needs to be inside of a, it needs to be inside of a Midnight Pulse. Yes. So, yeah. That's one of the only ways that he is going to... I mean, Black Ops back up. Can jab so... But the Rose shit's going to be dead before they get there. That's going to die, it looks like. If you have to look at each other, you're so nice. But indeed, Roshan goes down ages into the hands of BZM. And now Nisha. Oh. Looks like he's going to be fine. Are you looking at stuff? Focused by BZM. Jump forward here with a swashbuckle. Tool has been dropped here onto Amar. Basically, protection has been limited. But again, is he actually going to die during this doom? You're right. Nice toss back. The toss back. Keeps him safe. BZM's so he's in the midst of them all. He's happy to play around here, of course, with that Aegis in his hands. Now he knows that the threat of the Doom has already been expended. Not got too much that he needs to be careful. There's there, BZM. Split. Nisha to the side. He's caught by the Ice Bar. BZM playing over. Look at the first coming out. Gansel tries to jump in. Avalanche. But he can't get the O off in time. Top tower is under and now he himself is going to run. The Chakram is going to catch the Mamar. Good God. Excellent placement with the armor. I mean, they, they feel like they just dismantling Sucre yet again. Uh, they have lost me. And Christmas is gone. But it's a triple kill for Amar. Everybody dead on Secret once again. I, they're just uh, they're just dominating them in the team fights, honestly. Yeah. This is such good place. But Doom is also just being... It's being placed very aggressively without any follow-up. They didn't have any... Like, they had the Doom, and then... Like, they're chasing out a little bit. Then you see a Rolling Thunder kind of coming in the back line afterwards. Then you... It's a lot of... Like... Miscoordination, it feels like from Seeker and OG, they're on point with their coordination. Oh, they absolutely are. The ice path yeah, lands. There's a huge difference in both these games we're seeing in this yeah. by execution. They know exactly how to follow up with their spells. It, 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 it seems like it's a bit all over the place. And I was mentioning for Crystalis, like, both games, a bit of quiet performance from the Razor. This point, 1, 2, and 0. He pops his BKB, gets into the curse, and just killed as well. Doesn't it really get to do much of anything? 22 11 7k lead and that's two back-to-back -back team wiped in a row that og's been able to perform against secret what was the score before the blink on tiny i think it was 11 to 10. i close. think it's actually it, 10. it was pretty much even footing yeah i think it's pretty much 10 kills in a row and then off the what's, what's he got coming out now you argue what bkb yep. i would imagine uh, yeah full bkb for him now yep. and, and we saw as well bz he had a whole lot of money there's the scardy and it's going to be online in about a thousand gold Oh man, and then now, if it's already been a... I mean, look at all three of the cores. You see Ooh. the three cores of OG. They are all insanely and evenly farmed. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Like they play that. They play that farm game for the for their cores, and it's working out perfectly. And it's as hard as the game has it's already been for the Razor. It's going to continue to get even harder as this morphling is keep scaling, like you it's said. A, it's a rough matchup. Yeah, it's a really tough one. As you can see now, BZM is just walking straight up. say something else about Crystalis. I mean, that's exactly what he needed to get back in this game. Able to turn around that, that fight. OG overlapping their spells have been there. The curse actually wasn't needed. The ice path was there to cover it for that black hole. They probably could have saved it on Taiga, but either way, that happens. BZM. Yeah, that's what the BKB has. He's not got the mana for Doom. That's now. Now he has. He's got the Doom down onto BZM. The back up's in. Amar's ready to turn up. Doesn't matter. BZM still goes down, and now Amar, he's one left alive. He's got to be careful. Okay. Secret off the back of a solid team fight. Deep on their half of the map. Immediately move over with the aggressive charge of Ice 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 to, to make sure they get not only the three kills to start things off, but the big one onto BZM. And just bringing Crystals back into the game. Like he was 1 0. He wasn't able to find anything. Now he gets himself two big kills. Full Yasha into that. Sanch. Same build he does. He's going for that as the last game. I know usually we tend to see just the BKB refresh for Crystals both times. Seems to have a different idea. Definitely important times of life there from Secret. You know, bringing it back after suffering two team wipes. How close are they to? I think both teams almost have a Wraith Pack done too. Yeah, so it's quite a bit further actually. Tiger's going to have his done any moment. So that's going to be pretty big. Damage negation is going to be pretty huge. 
We've seen a couple of times Secret did have a little bit of lacking damage that could make it even worse. But a good punch back that they really needed. Game's tripped up a bit. Black hole down for 70. Doom as well. OG. Probably gonna look for a battle before that for the next 45 seconds or so. I mean, Amar definitely is still the biggest problem yes. for Secret. They, they can't kill him. Yeah, look at him just waltzing through the tier two for the next wave. He's got his whole team behind him, so he is he can play this cocky. Yeah, with it with the items he has, the fucking farm that he's got at this stage, he knows whatever they throw out and him, even if they kill him, it's gonna have to be so much that they use on him that the death, it's, it's never gonna feel bad. Yeah, and even if they do him in some of these situations, like we haven't seen a lot of times, even Tiger freezing him. That's the thing too, they do have a freeze they can even turn that in some situations. It's a curse! Tiger's in with a setup, the TP backup comes in, you're arguing, we do now head towards Poppy, and Chrysalis will go for the BKB TP, he makes it away. So no curse and doom and black hole are coming back up on the side of secret. No IO. Perhaps they can look for some fight back too. But a are playing around his vision. And then niches around the low ground. They get the ice pad. I'm easy. Get, get caught straight away. Is anybody get that with the roller? Still scary. And so Amar there was even teasing with the idea to keep chasing. Nisha's fine. Radiant's he rolls away to safety. He's under attack. OG just charging across the map Radiant's though. They'll see if they can find any luck down here towards our side size. BKB's yes, up. Yeah. Beat up. Yes, side size. He's up on corner. I'll try and get out of him. going to be like, doing it himself. The lowest was there. Mark. Keep it easy. I'm just going to be he, was he did the Lotus and the Lincolns. Like, it was actually so quick because they had the double Lincoln, so it blocks it out as well too after they proc the initial. That was, I mean, such quick fingers there from Amar. Looked like it was potentially maybe going to be a turn too there, but... I mean, that's pretty huge. You know, the three heroes dead, and Ice is out for 30. Even if he's back in, no Doom. No Doom. Time for OG to maybe approach the high ground. Off the side, Dragi. He's going to look towards Nisha, but Nisha should be okay with the blink. Radiant structure. He's out of there, but... And Tito the mid, they're gonna have some tension towards the base. We'll see this play once again. Radiant's Amar. middle tower. Quick reaction. As you say, that initial take put the Lincolns, but then backed up by a further Lotus and a Lincolns Radiant's offered up by Amar. Tower. Can we rewind really quickly? And like, was that like what's that? It was mid enemy because he doesn't have the buff while the arms are in air, and then as soon as it's, it's dropping down, he gets it off, right? I guess it was the initial one that uh, that, that brought the Lincolns that are mine, so it was actually his, so. It wasn't as cool as I thought it was, but it's still very good. And it will get a Rax advantage off of it, too. And continue to grow this lead. Amar Timberman. There's a reason it just gets banned, like, every single game. 7-0 on 8, even into a tough game. Always able to just be... Oh, a bit of an interest. When it was a big brain, I'm, I'm sure, because I trust in the man. Amar's yep. getting the four stuff. What's he doing this for, this game? I'll have to think for a minute. I'll think of something. It has to be something crazy. There's going to be some big brain it be something, It's not like a force, Die. right? You know? So. I mean, obviously, breaking the link for his teammates. That's obviously, that's, 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 too, that's too small, right? You know, he's usually he, he thinking of something insane, but Is he whatever. Popping Lincolns or? I'm not sure, but. Lincolns in the moment. Send them back. Still 50 seconds, though, Nisha. World is the is their oyster now in OG. Oh, what a BZM. Oh, goodbye, puppy. BZM, he might even have a chance. Oh, look at him go. Crystalis. As Ma, he'll be casually walk up into the heart of the And taking out Yapso's courier. As, uh, hey, I mean, it's, it's getting to the point where OG's Radiant's just happy to ca casually walk into attack. base with Secret. Yeah, I think they're just going to start having some fun with it, too, especially Amar. <laughs> and that's, uh, yeah, that's kind of... Kind of quite a bit of a loss there for you. Because that, that, oh, I see the chunk that got the back hole. Oh. Is the chunk that made it's going to get closer to the ice path? It's down. Let's get the ice path. I'm going down. Easy M's ready to fight. Wave bombs in over towards Crystal. It's not going to call it. It's over. GG. The Doom blocked again. <laughs> Even in those type of crazy fights, they're somehow able to protect each other with these players. Oh, wow. Yeah. These two games, there's no doubt about it. I think so. The question is going to be asked now is OG going to still look as good as they did for the last tour? And at the Major, you know, obviously, the, the difference being Misha back in the squad uh, in comparison to Seb at the Major. And I think the answer is yes, they do.